Hello, Nancy Golden here, and I'm grateful we're going to be taking back Lent today, especially since it's a very solemn day in the um, Christian faith. Today is day 39, Friday, also known as Good Friday. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm so glad we're taking this journey together. When someone is at the brink of death, their last words often revolve around what they hold to be most important revealing their deepest concerns. Even in dying, we can see that for Jesus, his greatest concern was for us, rather than the excruciating pain that he was bearing. His desire to articulate his thoughts from the cross must have brought shockwaves of pain as he struggled to lift his torn body upward against the nails, to draw even enough breath to speak. Russell Bradley Jones writes in his powerful little book, Gold from Golgotha, Moody Books, 1945, Everything at Calvary is significant, but in a very special sense, the Savior's seven words, spoken from the heart of his vicarious suffering, interpret him to mankind. I included that because it's such a powerful quote and speaks to what Jesus did for us at the cross and how he expressed those last um, sayings. Scripture records that Jesus spoke seven times. Let's take the next two days to examine more closely these words he deemed so important he uttered them from the cross in the midst of his passion. Luke 23:34. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Amidst great suffering, Jesus thought of others, not himself. He came for the lost, and in this prayer, he was asking his Father to give them a chance for redemption rather than the judgment they deserved. He asked God to allow them a chance to believe. We can interpret Jesus said to mean Jesus kept saying, in the original Greek, the verb is imperfect, indicating repeating action in past time. Jesus' prayer was a continuous petition on our behalf in the midst of his suffering. In Luke 23, verses 39 through 43, one of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence? We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, Truly I tell you, Today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus faced temptation just as he did in the wilderness and in the Garden of Gethsemane. One thief asked for physical release, challenging Jesus to show his power and save them if he really was the Messiah. The other thief appealed to Jesus to remember me when you come into your kingdom. He wasn't asking for release from his cross, but from his sin. What is amazing is the choice before Jesus, the cessation of torture or the prize of his agony. Totally unworthy sinners, such as the self-confessed criminal hanging next to him and each one of us. John 19, 26-27 When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. Notice Jesus addressed Mary as woman instead of mother. He assigned John as his substitute and in those words severed his earthly relationship with Mary. She was now free to have the higher relationship of believer with Jesus as her savior heartbreaking as it must have been for both of them. 
It was necessary for Mary to lose her son in order for all of us to gain our salvation. It is hard to even begin to fathom that kind of sacrificial love. Today's activity. While today's devotional is difficult to read, it is an amazing picture of the love Jesus has for us. Spend some quiet time with God today, making sure to thank Jesus for the depth of his love that led him to the cross on our behalf. If you are able to find a local church offering it, attend a Tenebrae service. It is a deeply moving experience that will walk you through the scriptures pertaining to Good Friday and our Lord's incredible sacrifice. Today is a hard day, and it's a day where we can really be grateful for the depth of love that our Savior has for us. Let us contemplate that with with grateful hearts and reflect on how we can respond to it in ways that are pleasing to him. Thank you so much for joining me and taking back Lent today. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow.